talk about pollution, we're often referring to greenhouse gases or other chemicals, but there's something else that can pollute the skies, light. Joining us now to talk about light pollution and how it can impact our night skies and even your health, believe it or not, is John Barentine. He is with the International Dark Sky Association. John, thanks for joining us this morning by phone. Uh, just recently, a state park in the south, uh, Georgia to be, for example, uh, became a gold tier international dark sky park, joining other places like the Grand Canyon. What makes it a gold park? Well, that's a good point that Stephen C. Foster State Park, which is uh, one of our newest parks in our system in the southern part of the state of Georgia, is what we call a gold tier park. And these are the places left in the world, and there are not very many of them uh, where the conditions at night are very close to pristine. And that sort of underscores the need to, uh, so over time, to protect these places exactly because we're losing them at such a rapid pace. Besides ruining our view of the starry night, how does light pollution impact people and the environment? Well, generally light pollution causes problems for all kinds of living things, including people, animals, plants, etc. cetera. Uh, anything that is exposed to the regular day and night cycle that's established by the light of the sun, when we put light into these environments at night, the result is that we kind of mess with the biology of these plants and animals, and again, including people. And we're noting now that there are some negative effects, um, both in terms of uh, animal populations, as well as in some cases, even concerns about uh, human health implications. How much of the night sky around the globe is impacted by this? The best estimates that we have, uh, which are very recent, are that something like 80% of the people on Earth wow. are affected by light pollution in some way. And in the United States, that figure actually approaches close to 99%. There are very few people live in the United States that, that do not, at some level, see an impact to their night sky due to artificial light. Wow, that's a pretty, pretty high number right there. Uh, and besides yeah. just pulling the shades, what are some other things that people can do to be more dark sky friendly? The best thing people can do is just to simply think about their relationship to their use of outdoor lighting and see if there are ways that they can improve it. And that, in some cases, can be as simple as putting a shield on a porch light, for example. Uh, but for the typical homeowner or business owner, just go around your property, make sure that all of the lighting on your property is lighting a task, um, and make sure that it's at the appropriate level for the, um, the area and the time of night as well. All right, John Barentine uh, with the International Dark Sky Association. Some interesting facts about uh, glowing, glowing sky. 80% mm. of the globe, Kel.